Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hi, my name is Paul, and this is Heidi. Uh, Heidi is here today because of some uh, significant increase in left sided uh, arm pain. Uh, Heidi is 43 years old and has a history of uh, this same issue, and we've seen her in the past for this. About three weeks ago, started to develop some uh, discomfort in the shoulder and, and distal tricep, you know, region. Um, and then uh, recently was doing a lot of riding in a car and a lot of crocheting at the same time, looking down, and had a significant increase in discomfort. And now um, she's been quite miserable, especially with a lot of shoulder discomfort lately. Um, so our job today is to try to triage. Uh, what this is, try to figure out what it is, and uh, also give her some direction on how to manage this. So, um, Heidi, can you tell me where most of your discomfort is? Right here on the shoulder blade down to my elbow, right okay. behind. Yep. And what kind of pain is it? Is it a sharp, aching type discomfort? Well, it's it burning? achy, but kind of more right from right there in my shoulder. Okay. Standing. Great. And uh, you haven't done anything where you lifted something really heavy or anything like that? No. Okay. Any numbness or tingling anywhere? Tingling right mostly in this finger up right here. Okay. And um, any pain in the back of your throat when you swallow, any dizziness or ringing in your ears or anything like that lately? No. Okay. Um, do you have any pain in your shoulder blade back here? Not really, no. Okay. Great. Um, so uh, the, other, the next thing I want to have you do is just check your motion. So can you take your arms and lift them right up overhead out to the side? So she has good shoulder motion. Does that make it any worse? No. Can you go straight ahead like this? So this is just you know, a really gross evaluation to see if she has any discomfort with active shoulder motion. Um, so the first thing I like to do is start with reflexes. So I'm going to start with C7, triceps, pretty good there. Then I, I always follow the same pattern. So this is C5, C6, C6 is a little bit light, um, C7 on this side. A little bit lighter than that side. C5 and C6 is a little bit light on this side compared to that side. So this one's a little bit worse actually than that side is. Um, next what I'd like to do is check your sensation. So I'm going to have you do this. And does this feel the same or different? Same. C5. I'm going to put the palms up. Out in the outsides of the thumbs. Same. Same. How about the index finger? Different. It's different, lighter on this side. Yeah. Okay, that's C6 still. C7, the back of the ring finger. Same. Same. C8. Same. T1. Same. So we've got a little loss of sensation on the outside here. Now, can I have you take your hands and put them like this? We'll do gross manual muscle testing. So spread those fingers really wide. T1. Spread them out. Good. Good. And good, they're equal on both sides. Now we're going to do the OK sign, which is C8. Hold tight. Hold tight. Good. Now we're going to, while she's here, we're going to do wrist extension. Okay, so we're going to try to pull her down. Hold tight. Hold tight. Okay, that one wants to come down, but just slightly weaker than that one. Let's do her biceps, C5. Hold tight. Hold tight. That's equal. And the other way, which I feel is more reliable in testing C5, is resisting supination. Don't let me turn your hand down. Good. Don't let me turn your hand down. Slightly weak on that side. Okay. Now we're going to do C7, triceps. Hold right here. Don't let me push it. Good resistance. Don't let me push it. Okay. Kind of weak on that side. Um, the other thing I'd like to do is C5 would be deltoid, so we're going to have you bring your arms up this way. And this is another way to rule out if she has a rotator cuff problem. Because a lot of people who have pain here also have rotator cuff problems. So hold right there really tight. And that's equal. Straight ahead. Hold tight. And that's equal. Any pain with either of those? Did that make it any worse? No, it did. Okay. So we have a slight decrease in um, C6 reflex on this side, a little weakness in wrist extension, and some weakness in the tricep C6, C7. Now, can I have you look over to the right? So we're slightly limited. We should probably have another 15 to 20 degrees of rotation there, but does that reproduce your pain or make it any worse? Can I have you look this way? Any worse? I'm going to have you look up toward the ceiling. Does that make it any worse? And bring your chin down to your chest. So she's tight and apprehensive when she does this, but it doesn't really exacerbate her discomfort. Next, I'm going to go to um, cervical spine compression test. 
Does that make it any worse in the arm? Okay. And we're going to do a Sperling's test. We're going to rotate her laterally flexor and extend her to the right side. Any worse there? Not really. Okay, and how about if we do it to this side? No. Okay. No. So, and, and, and commonly if she had a really big herniated disc, that would give her pain down the arm. I'm still somewhat suspicious that she does have a disc. Um, so, at this point, um, I'm going to have you turn around and we're going to have you put your head over here. And now to help identify if this is a, a cervical spine problem or a shoulder problem, I'm just going to let her lay here flat with, without a pillow. And usually the, ex, the extension kind of exacerbates the discomfort in the shoulder some. How does that feel? Not great. Okay, so it's hurting more in the shoulder just being in this position. Yeah. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to reposition her neck. I want you to relax. And I'm just going to hold her into flexion. And we're going to see if that changes the pain in her shoulder. Any relief with that? Yeah. So your shoulder is already feeling better just by taking pressure off of that extension. And that's classic for a, a cervical herniated disc. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, we're going to pause on the video, we're going to have a discussion on um, what do we do with her from here, and then I'm going to show you a little demonstration of another test that we like to do to identify if this is a cervical herniated disc or not. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.